Hey everybody, I'm Rock Spectre Comics and I'm back. This time I want to talk to you a little bit about my Terrificon experience and this week's new comic book date pickups. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. Okay, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do get some content out there, you get it in a timely fashion. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about Terrificon first, and then I'll show you my new comic book day pickups. Um, so Terrificon was a blast, as expected. Ended up this time going on Saturday, which was the, uh, I think the first time I ever went there on a Saturday. And that's because I wanted to meet more of the community members, and a lot of the people I spoke to was going to be going on Saturday this year, so um, that was the day I chose. I typically go on Fridays because it's less crowded. It's um, a short afternoon. I can get a lot of stuff done, like meeting artists, looking for some wheeling and dealing and so forth, um, and you beat the lines. But uh, this time, I went there for Saturday. Like I said, wanted to meet a lot of the members out there, and there was a lot of great people I met on Saturday. Um, I'm not going to start mentioning names because I'm going to feel like I'm going to leave somebody out there. I'm going to forget. So, um, obviously we all, the people that I met, I had a blast. Um, it was a really cool meeting every, every single one of you. And then we, um, we talked a little bit right in front of the, the, uh, the con. And then we ended up going to, um, a bar and we shared some more stories. We had a little bit to drink and eat. Um, wish I could spend more time there. It was a short time I was there. I was only there for about just under around four hours. So um, I didn't have really the opportunity to go like hunting and stuff like that. I was walking around through the booths initially seeing what there was out there. I really had low expectations when it came to buying books. Um, it was more about just like submitting books and meeting the community. So um, ended up going to CGC because I had um, a bunch of books with me. And honestly, I wasn't expecting CGC or CBS, uh, CBCS to be there because they weren't at the last convention and uh, the other local conventions too. So I was surprised to see them there. Um, I went up to CGC and I was like, I need to get these books signed. And I was on a tight window and uh, they were like, oh yeah, we can take care of you. And um, then we're like, well, let's go meet the artists. Like, I don't got time for that. <laughs> so uh, right next door, they had uh, <clears throat> my buddies at uh, Captured Collectibles. And uh, I've done business with them in the past. And they're great, great guys. So um, I talked to them. I told them what I wanted to do. And um, they took care of me. Um, so ended up sending over six books. It was, I didn't even know that Jim Starlin had, and... Um, uh, Jose uh, Luis Garcia Lopez had canceled last second. I had brought my uh, Infinity Gauntlet 1 and DC Comics Presents 26. I wanted to get Starlin to sign both of those. My Infinity Gauntlet was only missing his signature. I had gotten already uh, Perez and um, Joe Rubenstein. So he uh, ended up, you know, canceling last, last, I think it was the day before. And... Um, he was like, well, we'll take care of you. Uh, they're going to be an upcoming private signing, so you can get those books signed. So um, I sent those two books off. Also, uh, there was Jim Shooter, Al Milgram, um, John Romita Jr. there. There was, uh, oh, it was, it was packed, packed with great creators this year. Um, my buddy John Jang was there, so uh, ended up getting this book signed by him. This was the only book I brought with me that I brought back home. So um, this is my uh, Cowboy Bebop issue number one. Great, great cover, and you can see there it's signed by John Jang. This was my uh, second time meeting John. First time I met him out in uh, Arizona. Really cool guy, very laid back. Uh, we had a blast talking to him for a little bit. He asked if I was going to be going to the uh, upcoming New York Comic Con in October, and I was like, probably not, because it's not a really usually a good time for me to go there um, when it falls on uh, New York Comic Con. But um, I was nonetheless happy to meet him again. Um, what other books did I submit? I ended up um, submitting a book for JRJ. It was my uh, World War Hulk number five. 
Um, I should be getting that back from CGC as well soon. I had submitted one earlier this year. I had, uh, like I said, two books by um, Jim Shooter. It was Secret Wars 1, which I had shown previously in a different video. And they told me uh, John Beatty is going to be coming up for an upcoming private signing as well. Either private signing or an upcoming con. So they kind of like got me into getting another signature on top of it. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, so I got that. And then um, I want to say there was one more book. But it's uh, not really jogging my memory. So uh, with all the different signings, all the different, you know, obviously different submissions because you got the submissions from this con and um, the other private signings and then a future con signing, it like really adds up quickly. Um, so I ended up spending a little over 700 bucks for all the signings and the gradings and, you know, they fast track it and everything. So uh, that was pretty pricey. Um, so that was that was it for my you know terrific con. I didn't like I said I didn't bring anything home. I dropped a lot of stuff off <laughs> and had a a great experience meeting everybody in the community. And um, I can't wait to do it again. So uh, books for uh, new comic book day. Um, picked up three books. It was a pretty late week for me. Um, Twig came out this week, so I ended up getting this for my son. Twig number four. He is already excited for Twig number five. I haven't read the story yet, but uh, that'll be one of my reads this week. Um, I think this came out maybe last week or the week before, but they had this on the shelves. This was Grim number one, and this is the fourth printing. So they had that for cover. And uh, this was kind of like a spec play, but I saw this on the shelves. Um, I like the uh, cool dinosaur cover. This is Edge of Spider-Verse, issue number one. I believe there's two first appearances. I think Spider-Rex and Spider-Layer, I think. is like a Scottish uh, Spider-Verse character. But uh, that was it. Light week for me. Um, I think the rest I'm going to be doing some digital reading as well. i got to catch up on some of my um, books from previous uh, new comic book days. So i got a little bit of a big backlog to catching up on reading. Um, let me know what you guys... Uh, Thought of the haul, short haul. Um, if you guys went to Terrificon, you guys have a blast. If you haven't gone, you ever plan on going to it. And uh, that's really it. Um, until next time, Marks with the Comics, out.